After the total oh! SCP-3000. Yo, what, dude? Did that Eels just do with that, dude? What? What is wrong with SCP-3000, dude? What's going on, Quiddy? Welcome to Nathan for Reacts, and today I'm going to be reacting to SCP-3000 and Nantashesha SCP animation. This is by The Rubber. Now, this sounds really interesting, and I'm really interested to see this. So, always link to the video in the description. Now, we'll also, guys, if you're new, smash that subscribe button. Well, let's go and check out SCP-3000 and Nantashesha SCP animation. Dr. Krishnamore says, Manaba, I was wrong. God save me. It's not SCP-3000. Why, dude, what is that? Consumes Krishna Morthy. Dude, that thing's huge. disappears into the darkness and is no longer visible on exterior cameras. Hello, everybody. I'm Yo. Robert. Today, we bring you a SCP Foundation Thiumel class object, SCP-3000. Yo, that thing's SCP huge, SCP-3000, what is it? Also in? known as a Anatasesha is a massive aquatic serpentine entity strongly resembling a giant moray eel. Yo, dude, that thing's huge, dude, what? It is what? estimated to be roughly between 600 Yo. and 900 kilometers in length. Its head measures roughly 2.5 meters in diameter and sections of- Yo, that thing is so terrifying, dude. Oh my goodness, dude, what? This thing is huge, though, dude, The body what? proper are as large as 10 meters in diameter. 3000 is carnivorous and typically oh, a sedentary no. creature, only moving its head in response to oh. certain stimuli or during feeding. Dude. Despite its sedentary nature, 3000 is capable of moving quickly to dispatch prey. However, it doesn't actually need nutrients to maintain its biological function, though its size is huge. Dude, it is yeah, that thing exactly is like what happened to the super prey huge consumed, though. But during feeding, 3000 excretes through its skin a thin layer of a viscous, dark gray substance classified as Y909. The Y909 compound is a critical component in several modern and experimental amnestic compounds. What does it SCP do, SCP-3000 is a Class 8 cognitohazardous entity. Direct observation of 3000... Dude, imagine running into that thing, though, dude! I'd be swimming away! <laughs> I'd be like, let me go the other direction, dude! You didn't see me here! Loss or alteration. <laughs> dude! According to a log from Site 151's historical records, Man. written by Dr. Eugene <laughs> dude. Getz, during the initial discovery of SCP-3000, an unease was felt throughout the entire crew. A dude, yeah, I feel like if I saw that thing, dude, I'd be like, man, what is going on with this thing, dude? Why did we just run into that thing? It's huge, though, dude. What? Oh, just my goodness. The foundation I'd William be like, roll my boat Hill. somewhere else, dude. I'm not even gonna and lie. And act more and more erratically. At one point, expressing uncertainty as to the task he was assigned to handle. When the crew finally came into contact oh. with 3000, William began whimpering Yo. and had to be sedated. He muttered the word, no over and over again, as if in disbelief. He went silent after a while as the Yo, dude! Thousands head. Something had that gone thing is bigger eye. than like the little Moments submarine after boat thing. The head of SCP-3000, several other crew dude, members going complained <laughs> of feeling hazy and of being uncertain what they were supposed to be Wait, doing. Wait, so does it have like Captain Ritter control over them off though? nitrogen intoxication and forced them to continue approaching 3000. When the crews were 50 meters away from 3,000, Bro, that gonna it eat turned it. slowly to look at them. It's gonna eat the whole thing, moment, dude! William began screaming and flailing, shouting about how he could see it in his head. Other Foundation what? personnel tried to restrain him, but he got free and smashed his face against one of the portholes. Oh! He hit it so hard, he oh. cracked the inner layer of glass. Dude, don't do that! <laughs> dude. Tried to give William medical attention, Bruh. but he was too far gone at that point. Dang. Despite the trauma, he still spoke briefly as he lay down. So why are they all like acting like this? Is it because of SCP-3000? Like, is there some sort of thing going on with like SCP-3000 that are made? I mean, if I saw that thing like in the ocean, dude, or <laughs> I'd be like, I'd probably be like, oh man, we gotta go somewhere <laughs> different, dude. I mean, I wouldn't believe I, it either. He said, "There's nothing." Nothing. Nothing. By what? the time they had what reached the mean? surface several hours later, William was dead. In the what? logs, Dr. Eugene Getz wrote that even now, he can still see the eyes of SCP-3000. Despite this incident, a diving expedition was ordered to personally assess the creature and investigate Bruh. the source of the thick gray fluid not that had been that. observed floating <laughs> around its head. The dive team was composed of three members of mobile task forces, Kingfishers. All divers were equipped with high-pressure suits as well as front-facing headlamps. The water was dark and cold. They were in position about oh, no. meters from the head of SCP-3000. 
Moments after Bruh, being in the water, why would, the team leader no, told the command station dude, that they seemed why would to have you even get that close to it, though? Sign, and they were not sure where they were going. They felt an awful So it has head, to be SCP-3000 doing brain. that, right? Regardless, command told the team to continue towards 3000, but all the divers were completely confused about where they were. As they continued approaching, one of the divers began to utter ominous phrases concerning oblivion and dark eyes. What? Just at that moment, command detected 3,000 moving rapidly towards the divers, and their radios went silent. Dude, oh my goodness, dude. So you mean to tell me like SCP-3000 is like coming up on them, and they're like oblivious to like anything, and they don't even like have any clue of what's going on? Dude, that is so creepy, dude. Why? No! After 33 seconds of silence, one of the divers finally answered to the radio. According to the log, the leader of the team said 3000 opened its mouth Bruh. and suddenly oh, there was the sound dude, of a what? through the other two radios. Only one of them remained. Yo, what, the dude? What is Dude, the thing the one it's the being eaten claimed that it's extremely difficult to form thoughts while near 3000. Yeah. He said that the fluid was seeping through the skin around its head about a meter back. Just looking at the stuff is making him feel like the room is spinning. He feels nauseous and his head isn't working right. He went to retrieve a sample and attached it to one of those little balloons and let it float up so Command will be able to get it later. After Bruh. that, he claimed that he knows he is dying and told the Command Station what? not to send anyone else out there. It is so dark. Command continued is to this attempt to communicate is this because with of SCP 9 Bravo, 3000? but Bravo grew increasingly unintelligible before eventually going completely silent. Dude, that's Bravo's dark, radio dude. stayed active over the next three days, and intermittent breathing could be heard until the radio ceased functioning. In the beginning, we have mentioned that SCP-3000... Yo, what, dude? Oh my goodness, dang, dude. Uh, oh, man. So this creature, I mean, not only is it huge, but it looks like it has, like, effect on people, though. Like, oh my goodness, dude. Like, what is this thing, though, dude? Like, is that is terrifying. Class entity. Thomiel class SCPs are anomalies that the Foundation specifically uses to contain other SCPs. Dude. Even the mere existence of the Thaumiel class objects is classified at the highest level of the Foundation. And their the locations, level? functions, Dang. and current status are known to few Foundation personnel outside of the O5 Council. So, how can a giant moray eel that messes up your head helps the SCP Foundation Dude, in their operations? Huge, though. The answer is in the dark gray substance classified as Y909. Oh, so SCP that stuff is what controls a large like, number of amnestic during their work. People act like it this. is vital for keeping the secrecy of the Foundation. The inclusion of the Y909 compound has shown a marked increase in the stability and long term effectiveness of the Foundation's amnestics. Overall, amnestics utilizing Y909 break down 78% slower. So it's basically like that stuff that's like controlling like people's minds or something or something like that. That is really interesting. Like what? Than their standard counterparts in cold storage and 52% slower than their standard counterparts at room temperature. Additionally, individuals administered an amnestic regimen utilizing Y909 show a marked increase in suggestibility, memory clearance, and a significant decrease in additional side effects. Individuals treated with these amnestics express significantly fewer intrusive memories as those without Y909, with some individuals exposed to experimental compounds expressing Yo. no intrusive memories whatsoever, even at the 5 and 10 year marks. Due to the effectiveness of these treatments with that the addition is really of Y909, the continued inclusion of the compound is essential to modern Foundation amnestic application. The SCP Foundation has completely relied on the Y909 thing, compound no. with Dude. no means to synthetically reproduce it. <laughs> Hence, the ATSAC protocol has been developed. This protocol dictates the way the Y909 compound is collected off of SCP-3000 and the way personnel are to interact with 3000. According Bruh, to I mean, interact with this thing, dude. I'd be like, nah, I'm good. I don't want to interact with that thing, dude. That looks so terrifying. The dude, brief what? framework of the procedure documented one individual declassified subject dude, is what? to be administered a sedative gonna and equipped with a high-pressure diving suit. The subject is then to be tethered to a remotely operated underwater vehicle, ROV, within the aft airlock. The airlock is to be flooded, and the subject is to be towed by the ROV towards the feeding site. Upon reaching the feeding site, the ROV is to disconnect its tether, leave the subject there, and return to the Foundation submarine, named SCPF Aramida. Throughout this stage, SCPF Aramida should monitor SCP-3000's position, 
and adjust course if the entity begins to move away from the feeding site. Bruh, Mission Command will what? provide additional instructions during this phase if necessary. During the feeding session, no personnel are permitted session, to leave dude. the Aramida without authorization from the Mission Command. At a point after the total consumption oh! break, SCP-3000 Yo, what, dude? Did that, that hill just do that, dude? What? What is body. wrong with SCP-3000, dude? Are to exit the Yo! SCP through the apt airlock and approach SCP-3000. Just like literally like chop. What in the world, dude? This ill though, like Anantasha, like dude. What in the world, dude? Oh my goodness, dude. Like that is so creepy and so terrifying. Oh my god. Collection goodness, of Y909 Why must take place dude? during SCP-3000's digestive period, man, which is dude. currently believed to be roughly two and a half hours after consumption of prey. Teams must return to launch craft before the end of this period. During this period, the typical effects He's of SCP-3000 are less severe, <laughs> though command should continue to monitor these teams for damage to their cognition. After yeah. the collection of Y909, personnel are to transfer the collected substance to secure containers before returning to the surface. The mission administrator on board the Aramida is to monitor the substance throughout transport. Hmm. The following report concerns two doctors. The Foundation's Level 3 researcher, Yo, got Dr. Really dark. Krish Namorthy, and a staff clinical psychologist, Dr. Manava. Dr. Manava was assigned to interview Dr. Krishnamurthy after he attempted to exit out the Aramida's apt airlock without Ooh. diving equipment. Dr. Krishnamurthy Yo, begins discussing how he feels out, disconnected dude. from his mind and tired from trying to keep it together. He's forgetting things, having other people's dreams, and faces he doesn't recognize, places he has never been. Yo, he's having other people's dreams, dude? What? How? What? And dude! Clearly, his proximity to 3000 is greatly affecting him. It has point, been, yeah, Dr. exactly. He's three thousand. Remember his mother's voice, but he recalls that she told him about a god called Anantasesha, the king of serpents that lies beneath the god Vishnu in the cosmos. When the light of the universe had gone out, all that would be left is Anantasesha. Dr. Krishnamurthy believes that, that SCP-3000 is, so is Anantasesha. He says in the interview with Dr. <laughs> I can barely Manalo, even say that, dude. I, I believe that SCP-3000 is Anantasesha. And I believe that this, <laughs> and this aberration, it, this bro. treachery against cognition, oh, is the result man. of us being in the presence of a god. Not just a god, I've but no a god who how exists that across intro, all dude. time, I've... all at once, <laughs> and even beyond. Maybe, maybe some part of the nothingness beyond the edge of time is part of Anastasia it, as well. <laughs> After two days of containment, orders were received to lift the hold order on Dr. Krishnamurthy in accordance to the terms of the ATSAC protocol. Three hours after Dr. Krishnamurthy was released from his holding cell, the following incident took place. Dr. Krishnamurthy stands near the entrance to the Aramida's apt airlock while weeping and prepares to open the airlock door. Bruh, don't interior do that. airlock camera captures Dr. Krishnamurthy staring at the doing, exterior dude? airlock door for a full two minutes, not moving an inch. Dude, After two minutes, there? he collapses on the ground. Yo. As 3000 slowly approaches it's because the three, yeah, Dr. Krishnamurthy always really, puts on a high-pressure deep-sea diving suit. Bro, what is he doing? Exterior door controls and then exits bro, the don't go out there! Airlock. Dude! Bro, bro, don't do that! Reaches Dr. Krishnamurthy. Yo, what is he doing? Begins to open. Yo, what? The sounds horns, but neither SCP-3000 nor subject appear to notice. 3, Yo, what is he doing, dude? Yo! He appears to look up into the now fully expanded jaw of 3000. Dr. Krishnamurthy says, Manava, I was wrong. Yo. God save me. It's not SCP-3000. Yo, why, dude? Consumes Krishnamurthy. 3000 disappears into the dark. Yo, and is no what did that just happen, dude? Camera. What? Rescue crews are recalled. Dang. The crew begins to initiate ATSAC protocol. Before we end this video, we are proud to. Yo, dude. Oh my goodness, dude. SCP-3000. That ending, though, dude. Like, why was he... It had to have been... SCP-3000 has to have, like, something, like, with the... Obviously, what it was saying in the video, it has, like, cognitive, like, functions and can, like, inhibit that stuff and stuff like that. Which I think is, like, really, like, interesting, dude. Not only is this thing huge, though, but it can, like, make you think or different things or something like that. Or it has something to do with your cognitive function when you're next to it or near it. Like, that is so interesting, dude. Like, 
Oh my goodness. I was not expecting that, dude. Like, this ill, like, just, it is so huge, though, dude. Like, SCP-3000 is just, like, so terrifying and just so creepy as well. But it can also have, like, mind-controlling functions. Like, dude, that is so terrifying, dude. Like, what in the world, dude? Like, I would be like, I'd be like, nah, dude, you're, I'm good with this. Yeah, I don't want to go down there and see that thing. No, no, dude, you, you, you do you. <laughs> you do you, man. I'd be like, no, nah, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to, I'm gonna sit out on this one, dude. I cannot like. Oh, that is so creepy, man. Oh my goodness, that is terrifying. I mean, this SCP though, SCP 3000. Like, also like these animations though, like were fantastic, and also like depicting like the creepiness of like and this SCP though, dude. Like, oh my goodness, dude. Like this was like definitely like really interesting, really intriguing, and that ill though, dude. Like, and unattached. <laughs> I can't even pronounce it, dude. But that the thing is, dude, that is so creepy and just like, oh my goodness, this was really amazing and also like creepy. And oh my goodness, this is just like really interesting. What are you guessing about SCP 3000 and Nantes Shasta SCP animation? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, click that bell to turn on notifications. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. As always, guys, I'll catch you in the next reaction video.